Haley out in here joined by UConn head coach Gino Oriyama. The UConn Huskies are headed to their fifth straight American Championship final. Coach, congratulations on this win tonight. Uh, let's start off by talking about your defense. You were able to hold Cincinnati scoreless in the second quarter, just five total points in that first half. What allowed your defense to be so efficient tonight? Uh, I don't know that it was um, um, just one thing. You know, we had a pretty good idea um, of what we wanted to do, and and the the kids on the team were really really locked into what we what we had talked about. And then having Azure in the back there, maybe we played a little bit differently. We were able to be maybe a little more aggressive on the perimeter and not worry so much about what happened back there because she was going to block some shots and take care of some things. But um, I just think we um, we worked really, really, really hard, and and I think we rushed a lot of a lot of their shots. And uh, uh, it's not like we caused a lot of turnovers or got a lot of steals or anything. I just think that a lot of rush shots led to a lot of easy buckets on the other end. Um, I, I think they just had a bad night shooting the ball too. That's accounts for it as much as anything else. You mentioned Azure Stevens. She took a double double into halftime. What has having her on the court this season allowed you to do offensively and defensively? Well, I think it, it allows us to play a little bit differently. You know, when Gabby's in the game, um, we have to play a certain way. Um, it's a it's a a tough matchup for Gabby most nights who she's guarding. Um, so having Azure out there makes it a little bit easier for us defensively. Um, when teams try to take away stuff on the perimeter and we have her in the game. Um, we can throw her the ball inside the lane somewhere, and we know something pretty good is going to happen most of the time. So uh, there aren't very many players like her in the country, so we're very fortunate to have her. Gabby Williams, one of the important seniors um, on this year's roster, sat out tonight with an injury. How tough is that for her playing in this conference, being in this conference tournament, rather, and having to watch from the sidelines? It's hard, especially when you're a senior, you know. Um, Kids, they want to play. They always want to play. But when you know you don't have many games left in your in your uh, college career, it's, it's very difficult to sit out. Uh, I know she wanted to play, and uh, and if we could have, we, you know, I mean, if we had to, we probably would have. But um, uh, I asked her, would you rather win this tournament, if you could only pick one, or take a shot at the next one? Uh, sh she knew what the answer was. <laughs> yeah. 100 and 0 now in conference play, um, headed to your fifth straight title game, a chance to go into March with the championship. Um, what kind of momentum would this give your team in a quest uh, for redemption in this year's NCAA uh, tournament? Yeah, um, you know, I was just saying up, up there, um, you know, when you're playing a team like South Florida, who's going to be a high seed in the NCAA tournament, uh, and you're playing them for the third time. Uh, it's not going to be a walk in the park, believe me. And, and uh, what, I, what I've noticed is winning championships is hard, no matter who you're playing, no matter how many times you've done it before. Um, and I also know that we've won this championship and not won the national championship. And I also know that we've lost conference championships and won in the NCAA tournament. So um, we like to come out of tomorrow's game ha healthy, uh, take a couple of days to get to get reorganized and get healthy and then um, look forward to what happens in the next one. All right, thanks a lot. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Hill. I'm now joined by UConn forward Azure Stevens. Azure, congratulations on this win in the semifinals. 21 points, 13 rebounds for you tonight. Um, how was your role impacted by getting the start? Did it change the flow of the game for you at all? Um, not really. I think um, every game I just try to approach it, approach it the same um, and just help my team in any way that I can. So, you know, it was a little different. Obviously, I started, but um, once the game got going, it was kind of the same goal. You held Cincinnati to zero points in the second quarter and five overall in the first half. What was the approach as a team defensively tonight? Um, I think just being aggressive, you know. Um, we didn't play as well as we could have against Tulane the first game, so um, I think we just really came out focused on defense, and that really showed in that first half. This team is headed to its fifth straight American Championship final. What would a win tomorrow night do for this team heading into the month of March? What kind of momentum would that give you all? I think a huge momentum. Um, Coach was talking a little bit about that before the game and just kind of in March kind of building that momentum up. So I think um, a win tomorrow would definitely help with that. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks.